Hey guys, this is Dylan from Stupid Raisins. Have you ever wanted to create a bar chart that has two bars per point for some comparison? Well, you can do that with Datapop. Just takes a little bit of trickery. I'll show you how. So, in Datapop, just drag a template in there that you want to use, and then you want to select underneath bar style you want to select half of the number of bars you want so if you want let's say you want uh, I'm sorry that's not right let's say you want three points and you're gonna select three bars here then we're gonna duplicate it I'm just gonna press alt and then click and drag above it so now I have a new title above that I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to press select transparent for background so now we can see this bottom template through it. I'm also going to change a couple things on the access points. I'm going to turn off the x-axis because we'll use the x-axis for this section here. I'm also going to turn off the y label opacity so that turns off these labels over here but I'm gonna keep the axis opacity to 100 percent that's this bar right here and that that goes over these bars that grow okay next thing go to video tab up here and just bring it down slightly in the y-axis Then I'm also going to come back over here and I'm going to select these text boxes here, enter source, and I'm just going to turn the face off. And then I'm going to turn that off as well. That way we just have one title and source caption. And there you go. You've got two bars, one for each point. Oh, another thing we need to turn off, the grid. So go down to grid and just put opacity to zero. There we go. So now you can go through and you can tweak your colors. You can also tweak the, let's see here, the width. You could tweak the width and move them around. And if you wanted to even have three bars per point, you would just add another add another title template you go to the video and this time maybe put it up above like so and then of course you can change each value as well so that they all have different values and you can change their colors individually that's how you make a multi bar per point bar chart man that's a mouthful if you have any questions let me know in the comments